Hey, good morning, everybody. We have a great privilege and opportunity. Uh, you know, Chris and Tina Ferry um, are missionaries down in the Amazon and uh, really known them for a long time. Uh, yes, my, my wife and I, in a sense, were part of their journey to go into in the ministry. You know, one of our philosophies is raising up leaders and sending them out. But boy, you guys went out. <laughs> When you went, you said, we're going all the way to the Amazon. And, they, and they're, they're ministering underneath an umbrella uh, mission organization called El Taco. But anyways, they brought some friends up here. They're going to explain all this. I'm going to sit down and just soak in all the things you guys are going to share with us. But this is, these are, we are their sending church. So as you listen yeah. to this, realize that they represent us. And we, in a sense, represent them here over in America. But there you go. All right. Thanks, Britt. Yes, thank you. Well, and thank you to all of you for having us. Good morning. Good morning. So some of you guys know us really, really well. Some of you, some of you are getting to know us. But one thing that you will always hear us talk about is that we reach the unreached people in the Amazon through the strengthening of the tribal church. And that we do that through something called the Three Waves Movement. So today we have the best example we could provide to you of the Three Waves Movement. We have the first wave, that's Chris and Tina. We are the foreign missionaries that have gone into the Amazon. Nash North American Church, first wave. First wave, then now we have the second wave missionaries. We have Javier and Betsabe Mayorga. They are Colombian nationals. And they represent the second wave. And then we have Henrique Tarena. He is Brazilian tribal. And he represents the third wave. He is a tribal missionary in Brazil. And we all work together to reach unreached people groups in the Amazon. So we thought we'd take advantage of this opportunity that we have right now to show you the three waves in action. We're here. We have them up here in Colorado. We're translating materials for a leadership development and training event that we have in September to train up tribal leaders to reach the unreached in the Amazon. That's what we are all about. So being that we were here with you this week, we thought let's, let's instead of us talking so much, let's let them talk about the why and the how of how we do ministry together in unity. So um, I'm going to ask a couple of questions to them and do the translating, and we pray that it's a blessing and encouragement to you and that you, ALC, are able to see what you are a part of in the Amazon Reaching the Unreached People groups. Um, Javier, déjame preguntarte algo, pero primero voy a hacerlo en inglés, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, so the question that I'm going to ask Javier is, why have you, as Latin national missionaries, second wave of the three waves movement, why have you decided to do ministry the way you're doing it? Why aren't you just going into the jungle and reaching unreached people groups? Why do you believe that the three waves is a, a healthy and effective approach to ministry? Javier y Betsabe, bienvenidos, gracias por estar aquí con nosotros. Quiero preguntar el por qué de, de que están haciendo su ministerio en la manera que están haciéndolo. Por qué están respaldando, apoyando la iglesia indígena para alcanzar a los no alcanzados en la Amazonía. Bueno, antes de dar respuesta a tu pregunta, permíteme darle las gracias a la iglesia en esta mañana por recibirnos. Before I answer your question, Tina, give me the opportunity to greet everybody first, please. Hemos escuchado de la iglesia la vida auténtica a través de Tina y a través de Chris. So we've listened, we understand sort of how things go here according to Chris and Tina. Y pudimos conocer a Bruce también a través de una reunión de Zoom. We've been aware of Authentic Life Church and we've actually been able to get to know Bruce via Zoom. Y déjenme decirles que esta mañana cuando entramos ahí a través de esa puerta. Let me tell you when we came in the door this morning. Nos sentimos como si estuviéramos en casa. We felt like we were at home here and eh, welcome. Gracias por recibirnos. Thank you for receiving us here. Gracias por recibirnos por su amor y por el apoyo que le brindan a las misiones en Sudamérica. Thank you for receiving us for your love and for your support of Chris and Tina as missionaries. Igualmente agradecer a David y a todo su equipo de misiones. And we want to thank the missions team as well. Y quiero decirles que lo que nos animó a participar de este movimiento. So answering Tina's question, what encouraged us to join the Three Waves movement, that strategic approach. Un movimiento approach, que coordinamos a nivel de Sudamérica con mi esposa y mis hijos. My role is to coordinate that Three Waves movement. Eh, se nace a raíz de una necesidad que hay. It really developed out of a need, a root problem. Hace más de 100 años que el evangelio llegó a esas regiones. A hundred years ago the gospel arrived to these regions. Y cada uno, la iglesia extranjera, la iglesia mestiza, hemos venido haciendo nuestro trabajo. So from this point on, when we received the gospel, we were all kind of doing things independently, not in good coordination. Y de alguna manera, cada uno levantando su propia bandera, ¿no? And, and everybody, everybody really kind of planting their own flag of ministry. Sin embargo, nos hemos dado cuenta 
que hay una iglesia indígena también que está haciendo ese trabajo. But when we were working as missionaries in the Amazon context, we realized there is a strong tribal church. Y es esa iglesia indígena la que nos llama a la primera y segunda ola a trabajar en unidad. So at that time, the tribal church actually spoke up and called us and said, why aren't we working in unity? Estamos convencidos que es el tiempo de Dios. We're convinced that this is God's timing and His movement. Cristo en Juan capítulo 17 oró por esto al Padre. John, uh, Christ in John 17 prayed for unity in the body of Christ. A que tuviéramos esa unidad de propósito de seguir avanzando juntos como hijos de Dios. That we had a unity of purpose advancing the work together. Y creo que este movimiento, lo que está pasando ahora en Sudamérica, es la respuesta de Dios Padre a esa petición de I su hijo. I believe that the movement, the three waves movement in South America reaching the Amazon is a fruit of God. Es por eso que nos hemos unido en el mismo propósito las tres fuerzas misioneras. So for this reason we're unified three waves forming a tsunami to finish the work. La primera ola misionera que es la iglesia extranjera. The first wave North America that's us. La cual sembró su semilla en toda Sudamérica. We planted a seed in South America years ago. Y hoy somos resultados de ese esfuerzo que ustedes hicieron. And I want to say that my wife and I are the result of your investment bringing the gospel to South America. Bien. Y hoy también esta segunda fuerza misionera que es la iglesia no indígena mestiza. So now this second force exists, right? Reaching the unreached in the Continuamos Amazon. haciendo ese trabajo en los diferentes lugares. So we continue to work and bring the gospel into different areas. Pero esta, misio, esta tercera ola misionera que es la ola misionera indígena. But the third wave, the indigenous tribal wave of missions. Hoy también tiene que ser escuchada. Now they need to be listened to like we've been respetada, listened to. Respected like we've been respected. Y valorada. And valued like we've been valued. Por eso hemos tomado la decisión de trabajar juntos. For this reason we decided to work together in unity. Y que el nombre de Jesús sea conocido en todos los pueblos que aún no lo conocen so en los pueblos indígenas. So that the name of Christ indígenas. would be known in these 250 unreached people group in the Amazon and that he would be known amongst the nations. Y hoy queríamos estar aquí delante de ustedes. So now we're here in front of you. Para agradecer a la, a la iglesia Vida Auténtica. We want to thank you, ALC Church. Por acompañarnos y caminar junto a nosotros. For accompanying us and walking alongside us as we do this work. Y gracias por permitirnos contarles lo que Dios está haciendo al interior thank de la Thank you selvas. for giving us the space to even tell you what's happening in the Amazon. Por eso hemos tomado la decisión también de apoyar y trabajar juntos yeah, las tres olas. This is the reason why we've decided to work together in unity amongst the three waves. So Henrique represents a third wave. So think behind Javier and Betza Bay are hundreds of Latin missionaries that work alongside us. Hundreds of North American, hundreds of tribal, okay? They're representing people. So Henrique has a tribal perspective and we're so passionate about their voice being heard. So I'm going to ask Henrique specifically about the worldview of the tribal church and how tribal to tribal missions, endeavors, evangelism is more effective, like what happens when a tribal leader is going into an unreached community. Henrique, ¿qué pasa cuando tenemos un misionero indígena y ellos están haciendo la obra alcanzando a sus pueblos indígenas? ¿Qué pasa en la comunidad, en la familia y en el individuo? Ok, gracias por estar con ustedes esta mañana. I want to say thank you too for having me here this morning. Pero español no es mi lengua. I want to clarify that Spanish isn't my language. Yo hablo una lengua mi terena, de mi cultura. So my first language is my tribal language, terena. Después hablo portugués. Then Portuguese. Y ahora hablo español. And now I seem to be speaking Spanish. Uh, and if I, if I get confused, sometimes he switches between Portuguese and Spanish, so uh, bear with us. Bear with us. Somos muy gratos al Señor por esta oportunidad. We're so thankful to God to have us here. De trabajar como equipo. As we work as a team together. Como Javier dice, es... De de usted. I want to clarify that I agree with what Javier said. I'm the result of your investment in the Amazon. Los esfuerzos de la primera ola. The, the strength of the first wave, the, Na the North American church. Que fue a Amazonia y nos comunicó el mensaje de Dios. And they brought us the message of Christ. They brought the gospel to us. Um pouco, mais de 600 grupos indígenas na, na Amazonia. There are about 600 different tribal groups in the Amazon. Destes 240 não conhece quem é Jesus. So at this time, still 240, 250 have never received the name of Jesus, have not received the gospel. Por isso que nós invitamos a, a ustedes para que ore para nós outros. We want to make a specific invitation that you would pray for us. E conheça um pouco da nossa realidade. And that you would know our reality. E assim podemos junto caminhar no propósito de Deus. And that we can walk together in unity to finish la, this work. La pergunta que Tina eh, disse. The, the question that Tina asked me. 
Como indígena puede trabajar uh, con otros indígenas acerca del evangelio? How does a tribal person work with another tribal person is more effective with reaching them with the gospel? El evangelio siempre fue cercado de persecuciones. So the gospel always comes with persecution. Entre los pueblos indígenas no hay diferente. En uh, pueblo, pueblos, oh, sorry. Estoy hablando en español. ¿Por qué estoy hablando en español? Uh, in, in indigenous people groups, it's not different. There's persecution. Porém, un misionero indígena para otros indígenas es más fácil. So, a tribal missionary reaching an unreached tribal group is much easier to have effective contact. Sus culturas es un poco semelhante. So, between tribal people, we have similarities in our culture. We understand each other's realities. Porém, mesmo misionero indígena que yo soy, from specifically the group that I'm a part of, Terena. Para trabajar con otro pueblo. I will work with another people group. Es necesario que aprenda su lengua. And I will work hard to learn that tribal language and speak their language. Porque la mensaje de Dios tiene que alcanzar su corazón. We have to be bringing the gospel in the tribal language, in their heart language, for it to have true impact. Y cuando la mensaje de Dios alcanza su corazón, and when they receive the gospel in their own language, it touches their heart. La transformación es completa. And there is a complete transformation of the person. Y no solamente eso, pero su familia y su comunidad también. So because of the context, it's not just an individual that's completely transformed, but it's the, that person's family and their whole community comes to Christ. Hoy Amazonia tiene iglesias indígenas fuertes. And now in the Amazon, praise God, we have strong tribal churches. Hay liderazgo fuerte. We have a strong tribal leadership teams. Y que nosotros estamos haciendo es apoyando a estos hermanos. And what we're doing in the three waves movement, first wave, second wave, third wave, is standing eso, behind them and supporting eso, them. Y eso no hacemos so, solo. And we cannot finish the work alone. Por eso hablamos de tres olas. So that reason we're working in unity primera, to finish the work. First wave. La segunda. Second wave. Y la tercera. Third wave together. Cada uno de estos tiene parte importante en la misión de Dios. Everybody plays a different role. We have role. We have different strengths and weaknesses. Então, graças por ustedes nesta manhã. Thank you to you all this morning. Para estar orando e nos acompanhando. Please pray, please, please continue to walk with us. Especialmente a família Ferri aqui está unida. Especially, I want to ask that you support the fairies as they support us. Graças. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Grab one of these cards so you guys remember to pray for us. In and, the lobby. And we also want to put up a little photo real quick of our, the dream is that there be a, a true tribal church in every community. This is what we want. We want to see a strong, replicating tribal church in the Amazon. And you guys actually get to be a part of that. So thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So as we, you know, as we, you know, support the fairies, you know, we do that as a church, but also some of you guys individually, and, and, and they could always use a little bit more as they go through things. And remember, I, we have a philosophy. You, you support your church, but you should at least have one missionary that you are involved in so you can know what's going on. But as we pour into these guys, they're pouring into them, they're pouring into them, and we're reaching the Amazon. Literally, the, when they say tribal, there's some areas deep in the jungle that still blow darts and spears and all of that stuff. And that's what they're doing is bringing all that. So it's cool. Let's pray. Why don't you guys all stand if you could? And put an arm out, just saying, saying, man, I am, I am, I'm laying hands. We're, we're blessing these people because this is, this is real stuff. And so let's just bless them. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Chris and Tina Ferry and all the ministry that they're doing and the way that they're help working this three ways. In fact, this is being designed, right, right, as we're speaking. And thank you for this ministry. And we pray for them and we lift them up. And then we pray for each of the different waves as they're going out and changing people's lives. We thank you that we get to be a part of not just what's happening in the Amazon, but also all throughout South, uh, to South America. So we bless them. We, we, we pray for them. We thank you for them. Thank you that they represent us and that we're able to, in a, in a sense, represent them. And we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen, amen. amen. Thank you, guys. Woo!